TRS. Trish Turner is uh, now following the uh, Brett Kavanaugh confirmation circus. Good morning, Trish. Good morning. All right. So circus seems to be my beat. Yes, it does. Yes, the three ring circus. Just <laughs> bring the peanuts, and uh, Trish will be there with the with, with the elephants. Um, all right. So uh, last night, a, a bit of a bombshell. To get us up to date on what happened overnight. So last night we first heard from the accuser, uh, Dr. Blasey Ford, and through her lawyers, she basically came out and said, you know, I want a full investigation by the FBI, by law enforcement officials, um, before any sort of hearing, clo you know, closed or open in the public um, is going to happen. So she basically shut it down. We also learned she, um, through her lawyers, that she's had death threats. She had to move her family. So... Um, and sort of ratcheted up the tension on this even more. And then the Judiciary Committee uh, chairman, a Republican, Chuck Grassley, he responded by basically saying, you know, you deserve to be heard, not harassed, and that, you know, Monday, the invitation still stands for Monday when the public hearing was scheduled. So he's basically doubling down on, look, I, I gave you your day. I scheduled a hearing, albeit before they had gotten <laughs> any sort of acceptance of the invitation from the accuser, but um, they scheduled a day, and so now we just have a face-off. I, I don't know. This is kind of a game of chicken. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So who, who, who decides if the FBI will investigate or not? Does the FBI do that? Does the Congress have to ask? How does that work? That's a great question. We're all kind of in a little bit of uncharted territory, so we're in, you know, we go back to history as our reference, and... You know, the, the Anita Hill, Clarence Thomas um, situation in 91, the FBI did step back in, and it was at the request of the White House. And so it turns out that's the proper procedure, because the FBI starts for every federal official. They do a background check, and then they send the file over to the Committee of Jurisdiction. They say, here, to the Judiciary Committee, here's Brett Kavanaugh's file. Um, and so when this came to light, they basically added this letter from Dr. Blasey Ford that she sent to um, the committee and with her allegations, and they added it to the file because it was already a closed file. And so th what they need now is for the White House to say, open that back up and start an investigation the same way that the George Herbert Walker Bush White House did back in 91. So Democrats feel like they have history on their side, and so they're waiting to hear what happens next. So the, all of that, the White House has to initiate the request for the FBI investigation. That's right. That's right. Uh, and and we heard from President Trump yesterday. He said, you know, he, 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 the FBI, he said it was kind of an odd um, phrase, turn of phrase here. He said the FBI doesn't really want to do that. It's not their thing. So just indicating he has no plans to ask the FBI to investigate. Right. He has asked the FBI to investigate all sorts of things when it comes to the Russia probe and, and Hillary's That's emails right. and James Comey and everything. Good point. Um, but, yeah. but, but, not, but not this. So um, what does that mean? Does that mean they're going to have a hearing with an empty chair and call her and she not show up? Or at this point... Well, it's it is, hard to imagine the optics there, right? Right, I mean, right. This is, uh, Every Republican on this committee is a man, um, and all but one are, you know, are white men sitting on this committee, staring down at a, you know, staring down at a, at a table. Uh, hard to imagine it was going to be, it was going to be rough optics anyway. Several of them even said that to us, like, you know, here we are, a bunch of men questioning this woman. It doesn't look great, but it is what it is. And now, if she doesn't show up, I mean, that that's sort of what do you do? Do you put Brett Kavanaugh back in the chair? Yeah. You know, and it's it's all kind of a mess. Well, and the I other thing too they, is, you know, maybe it'll, yeah, the other thing too is the White House said she wants to. We want she, she needs to be heard. We heard her say right. she wants an FBI investigation, and them saying no. Okay, <laughs> right. So yeah. that's what she Difficult, said. Right? What that's do do? right. That's uh, yeah. what she said. She wants an FBI investigation, and they say no. So they heard her, and then they said no. So this, this so as of well, now, yeah, and first. First, her lawyer said she was willing to testify. Right. So, um, and and you know, she said the lawyer is saying she's still willing to testify. She just wants an, an investigation by impartial investigators. And so she has the FBI thrown in there. And you know, theoretically, that might be staff investigators on the Judiciary Committee. But I mean, they're hardly impartial. Mm -hmm. Um, they're certainly capable of conducting an investigation like this. But I don't know if they would pass 
um, this, uh, they would pass the test for being impartial. Stay tuned. Trish Turner, ABC News correspondent on Capitol Hill. Trish, thanks for checking in.